Stefano. Hi, my friends. I'm answering a question today that I've received and I received it on the social media platform, LinkedIn. Okay, just for a bit of context, I'm not sure where you'll be watching this. And let me read you the question because I thought it was really interesting. It was a DM um, to me directly. And this person says, I've been looking at your posts and I'm amazed at how people actively participate with comments. I've tried to stimulate this by asking questions, but it's terrible when I'm left hanging. How do I do what you do? Um, and so this is my answer. Okay, so, and I've made a couple notes because I thought this is the kind of a vlog that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. And so here we go. You know, it's impossible really for me to distill everything I do down to, you know, a 10 minute YouTube. I'm just walking on kind of grass that's been cut and got dead leaves on and all sorts. <laughs> so just excuse me. But let me, let me do my best with her. The first thing is you don't. You don't do <laughs> what I do, okay? I think what makes each of us special, you know, we've all heard this, and I know it maybe sounds a bit, you know, cliched and stuff. We've all heard this before, is that your secret sauce is you, is your own individual uniqueness. And what makes you special is different to what makes me special and all of us, that's what, what, why we're so precious as human beings, because we're all so different. So I think the first thing is to, to keep in mind is, is don't try and do what I do. Uh, you know, to give you an example, I, you know, I had a, a kind of contretemps with uh, somebody on LinkedIn a little while ago and it turned into, I actually did tag, I rarely tag, but I actually did bring in, I called in my friends and, you know, someone had used the word monkey in referring to me and it blew up into this huge post that wasn't particularly on brand for me, but I swear to God, it was a thesis in race, racism, white privilege, a lot of the things that I actually do talk about. And, you know, it didn't necessarily put me in the best light, but it's still up there in my timeline because that's who I am, you know? And a big part of who I am is someone who, who just doesn't, you know, do any BS. By the way, from here on out, I'm gonna swear in this vlog. So if you're offended by swear words, it's probably the right time for you to go, okay? So I'm gonna give you a minute. Thanks for watching so far. Off you go. And that's the case in point. That's the kind of, that's the kind of shit I do, you know? So, um, so that's the first thing. Do you, and do you to the max, as max as you feel comfortable with. You know, and the other thing I'm kind of big on is, is not kind of being quote unquote authentic because you think that's the right thing to do. You've got to feel comfortable, okay? The second thing that's super important on social media is you've got to create, if you want longevity and you're not just in it for likes and vanity metrics as they're called, what you need to think about is just as you do offline, you build real relationship, right? So that doesn't necessarily mean getting into people's DMs because, you know, if you try that shit with me, it won't work. You know, I'll just block you probably because it'll piss me off if we don't know each other and you're sending me little love notes. That's not my, that's not my thing, right? So don't try that with me. But some people that does work for. The point is you kind of need to, you need to kind of pay attention to what other people are doing and care about what they care about if you wanna begin to spark some, some kind of relationship. You know, the thing, the thing to know, I think the biggest thing about social media is just pretend that you're not online. Just do what you would do offline. It, then it becomes very simple. Because, you know, if you think about someone new starting at your job, let's say, if you work for someone, you, you know, you take time, you go for a coffee, maybe you, or you just, you know, see each other, smile at each other. What's the equivalent of that doing, you know, doing that, those kind of very human things that we just naturally do. What's the equivalent of that online? Go ahead and do that. You know, it might be just hitting the like button on someone's post that you, you do like. Don't don't kind of, again, just be real. Don't You don't have to pretend to like what you don't like. I think that's the other thing that sometimes happens online and social media that we get into this kind of tit for tat kind of thing, if you know what I mean. And I think that's really unhelpful and usually is unsustainable because if you don't like someone, but you're liking their stuff because you, because of who they are or you want them to notice you or something, if you don't genuinely believe in what they're doing, at some point this is gonna crash and burn, even if you did get what you wanted. So I think that's the second thing. 
create real relationship with people and know that that takes time. You know, we are still human beings, no matter how fast our technology moves, we don't move that fast as human beings. Let me tell you that as a psychotherapist, we're slow to evolve. <laughs> and that means that trust is built over time. And therefore, that's my next point really. One of my points is definitely to be patient. Um, and I think the other thing is just be mindful about who you're connecting with. You know, you don't have to connect with every Joe Blow. You know, you connect with people who you really want to connect with. And then again, it's it becomes much more doable, much more sustainable. You're not faking anything. Whereas I think, you know, the idea that, oh, every every connection is valuable. Well, I don't agree with that. You know, I have this, this hashtag on LinkedIn, rock sellers. And some of you guys will know what that means. Some of you won't. And you can look at my other vlogs if you really give a damn to find out. But basically, it's someone who, you know, tries to get something out of you without actually investing anything in the relationship. You know, just literally trying to sell you their rocks, basically. That's where it comes from. You know, you don't, you want to avoid that, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, Therefore, you want to avoid people who kind of, you know, behave in that way. Because, you know, life is short. You don't want to engage with people who are actually, you know little little shits basically do you you want worthy others so worthy for me is like you know when someone reaches out to me on linkedin for example be a first connection i will go through their their timeline and i will see what they're doing on other people's timelines you know if they're if they're leaving negativity if they're kind of just um shit stirrers if they're kind of negative or whatever they're not encouraging they're not saying thank you anywhere uh, or not responding to their own comments on their own timeline from things that they've posted, that's not going to sit well with me personally. Another person might not care and would just hit accept. A lot of people just accept everyone. And therefore, you know, this is where the, the idea of every connection is a valuable connection. Well, I don't want sleazoids who are saying, you know, move to Turkey and live with me. Uh, you know, I think you're sexy. That's not a valuable connection to me. So I don't agree with that bullshit for one second. Not everyone is a valuable connection. You want people who are actually kind, generous, gracious, funny. You know, you want people who, who you can relate to, who, who share your values ideally. So I think that's the other thing. And, and then if you connected with people who are real, then it's likely that when you post something real, they'll go, oh yeah, I like that as well. You know, so you can then start the ball rolling for me there's nothing wrong with that and equally there's nothing wrong with you know going for the option of liking you know being friends with everyone and having 10 10 000 followers if that's your jam go for it you know that's just not for me <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'll say there and bugs coming out literally he was on my he was agreeing with me i think little bug on my phone um so that's the next thing yeah and i think that leads to another point which is don't try to be all things to all people. That never works, you know? I appreciate that some of us, you know, are employees and we have to toe the line. We can't just say whatever the F we want. That's, you know, I understand that, but I think there needs to be a balance because if you just try and appease everyone, I think basically if you're not pissing people off a little bit at the time, you, you know, you can ask, you can have a word with yourself, you know, and, and just double check that you're not trying to be all things to all people and that you're still being true to yourself you know um you have to be patient you have to accept that the building relationships online in my view anyway others can disagree with this. this is my vlog this is my view right the in my view it takes time if you want to build quality connections rather than just any old connection um and the other thing that, you know, a lot of people aren't aware of when they see me trending, <laughs> some people think I'm trending all the time and sometimes I am trending all the time, but a lot of the time it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty regular and steady. And it gives me a little bit of a heads up about how my posts and my, my content is being received, which is really encouraging and fantastic feedback from my, from my people, from my um, community, that they're appreciating what I'm doing and it's resonating with them, which is the most important thing, you know. Be patient know that you know I have personally tried on many different platforms before I found a way through on LinkedIn and you know never think your time on other social media platforms where you didn't like reach a certain number of followers or something it's never wasted if you're really learning as you go 
because you will then take what you've learned and you know turn it into something else somewhere else and I think that's part of the reason why um, I'm really enjoying my LinkedIn experience this time because I've failed so many other times on different platforms and that's the other thing you need to find your place it might not be LinkedIn it might be Instagram it might be TikTok um, don't be afraid to experiment don't be afraid to throw it all away I think you know one of the things that's difficult about social media in my view and this is again just my view everyone's gonna have a different experience is that you kind of have to remember that none of, none of your stuff none of your content belongs to you it belongs to Instagram it belongs to LinkedIn and so with that in mind what I've done is that I've been quite happy to throw it all away you know on Facebook I mean if I really went back to my old Facebook account there's like reams of content on there there's tons of content and there's probably a way for me to get it back but I don't really care the point is it's like you have to be willing to let it go and know that you can try again um so I think the best advice I can give you is you know is to follow Gary V <laughs> you know I think for me Gary V just affirms what I already knew he he confirms what I already believed in I'm not doing anything in in, in you know the, the wisdom he shares is nothing new really it just is really affirming and I find that really encouraging I think the other thing that helps is you've got to be prolific you've got to remember that you know not everyone sees everything you produce so turn out as much content as you can that is the way that you're going to get more people to see what you're doing and increase the odds of getting the kind of people who give a shit enough to engage with what you're doing with all the effort that you're putting in so as Gary Vee says make 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 be patient be loving towards yourself be loving to others and good luck Sure.